Hello everyone. We remain range bound in the overall market, but I have to say overall today's session was pretty good. The NASDAQ rallied off its lows to close higher than where it opened. Volume was higher. So even though it's a technical distribution day, it's one of those hidden days of strength. Uh, overall, I would say very positive price action in the NASDAQ today as we attempt to retest the 824 lows, which still might turn out to be the lows of this entire pullback. But it's still too early to tell. Still got a you know a week of September left. And then don't forget the first two weeks of October, historically, seasonally, a week period also. But, you know, we're starting to get to that time where we might get clear of it. And, you know, and there's some subtle signs of strength out there. I mean, look at Netflix. Netflix now appears like it's trying to hammer out a low. Stocks like Core that I believe were added to an S&P index, you know, they're starting to form a nice right side of a base pattern. And then once again today, we had a few signals that were not taken, like MPO, CFI, HTBI that are out there along with the and TRCH along with the actual three signals were taken tonight. But despite the market still being overall range bound, you know, New York Stock Exchange is starting to test those old lows. S&P 500 is getting there too. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is there. You know, we need to start paying attention to sentiment. And on that note, bears are now up at 30% on the Investors Intelligence Survey. Uh, that's a new four-year high or something like that. And bears are down, or bears are up to 30%. Bulls are down to 26%. So the bulls are at 26 Bears are at 30. I think at one point when they crossed, it was like 28 to 26, but now it's like 30 to 26. So we're starting to move in the right direction. Bears are starting to increase. Nowhere near the five-year high of around 45%, but it's a good direction and a good sign that we could be testing the lows, especially if we continue to work higher. Now, that being said, though, at the same time, some of my long positions aren't doing so hot. SERV is producing a 100% sell signal by closing on an end-of-day basis below the 200-day moving average. So SERV even if it doesn't pierce the low here of 3307 and then moves higher, I will no longer be tracking it on an end of day basis as I am also completely out of the stock at some point in August. I was knocked out of all of it. But QURE is another name I was knocked out of all following this session right here. I moved all my final sell stops levels to right below 2774. Obviously, the next day it was hit, but on an end of day basis, it didn't even produce any partial sell signals because. It never closed below the low of the signal date, and it never closed below the 20-day moving average. But now today, it's below the 20 and 50, and basically closing at the signal date's low a day. QURE is a full 100% sell on an end-of-day basis. But also, other names. Tree, 50-day moving average violation on heavier volume. That's a 50% sell. Docs closing below the low a day of its signal day. Uh, that's also a 50% violation on lower volume. If it would have been heavier volume, and if it would have lost green bop, it would have been a 100% violation. VIX, closing below the 50-day moving average, even though it's on lower volume, that's a 50% end-of-day violation. 50% uh, of your stops go below 26.97. The final I would put below this low a day right here. But VIX, another nice you know stock, not looking good. Now, it could always reverse higher. If it's the case, I'll put buy stops just above um, the recent September highs. ABMD also closing below the 20-day moving average in heavier volume. Remember, under a sell condition, that's a 50% sell signal, so the low a day 95 needs to be used. However, if we were in an uptrend or even a neutral condition, today's sell-off would not be enough to trigger a 50% sell as we're still well above the 50-day moving average, well above those recent support lows. But it's up to you. You can do what you want. I just recommend maybe you know, moving half below the low a day. And if we're in a strong market, I assume ABMD will um, rally higher immediately. And PACE also failing its 50-day moving average on heavier volume. That's another 50% sell signal. You can use today's low a day as your final sell stop or go ahead and keep it back here in August. I think based on the way the market's acting, I don't want it to go below 34.62. So PACE, me personally, that's going to be my final sell stop on my remaining uh, position. I added a little bit to it back here. Got a good fill on the gap down. So, you know, I have a little bit larger position that I would like a little bit higher levels. But even if it closes below here, I'll be leaving the overall position about break even. It's been a very choppy, wild uptrend. 200 day moving average is minutes, final line in the sand. Uh, but this time around, if it closes below that low a day, I just want to go ahead or moves below it. I just want to go ahead and be out of the position. And then, you know, I still got some buy stops on the book. Uh, stocks have been shaken out of, but are still going on an end of day basis. PLPM. 
high day of that day. You know, that's going to remain on the book. MMAC, I got taken out of 50% of the position yesterday. A move above these highs. I'll get back long some of it. And then I thought there was another one. Oh, Docs. But, yeah, we'll keep that one on. But I might need to put that one at 14 now. So I had a, a, a 14. What am I talking about? So I want to go ahead and um, buy back DOX if it moves above 58.66. So my buy stop is above 58.66, not 14. It's a $57 stock. So Docs will go back on if it can move above that recent highs. But I'm going to go have to go ahead and put buy stops back on SCAI because I had half of my sell stops below 37, hit 36.92. So where would I put it for this one? Well, to get this trade back on if it moves back above 37.76. So I'm going to buy back what I sold in SCAI. And then MOH um, shook me out a little bit of position. 75.26 was a low a day on 9.22. And, of course, the damn thing hit 75.24, just a penny below my final sell or my 50% sell stop level before reversing higher. To get back long MOH, it's going to have to be above this move. 80.27 gets back above 80.27. I'll buy back MOH, but for now, you know, it's just a choppy volatile market, and that's what we're, you know, why I recommend if you're a new investor, not trading. If you pay high commissions, not trading. If you concentrate positions, not trading. But if in market conditions like this, you trade like me, you have a larger account, very, very low price commissions. And you can handle a lot of positions because you're very systematic. Then you got to take the signals because signals and longs occur before market uptrends begin. But the best time to really push is right after market uptrend begins. But ManH, Manhattan Associates, is producing a pocket pivot point signal as it retakes the 50-day moving average. Volume isn't that impressive, but the stock is impressive. It's a canceled quality stock. And it's one of 28 stocks out of 10,000 that qualify for the perfect speculator scam. So no matter what, it has to be a long position. This would normally only be a 1% long position, but because it's such a high quality and our risk is so low, I mean, our final sell stop is going to be below 1690. So we're only going to be risking about 3% max on the position, the entire position if we're wrong. So 2% account capital into man H. First sell stop below today's low a day, the pocket pivot point signal, 6254. Final sell stop below 6090 the low of this current pattern from this most recent breakout attempt, this most recent pullback, I should say, the low of the most recent pullback. So Man H is 2%. And then also DGII, can slim quality stock, breaking out to a new 52-week high on extremely strong volume, pocket pivot point signal, surge and bop. Very nice looking weekly you know, charts, a little extended up here, but we don't risk much if we're wrong. DGII is only 1% of the account capital. Can some quality stock confirmed in my price volume bop surge scan. My final and only sell stop will be here at 1048. If the stock trades below 1048, I will be out of the entire position. If you really want to be crafty, you could use 1048 and use 1019 back here, which is slightly below the 50 day moving average, which is something that I just might end up doing because it's a volatile market and it's only 1% of the account capital. And even if I let it allow it to trade back to 1019, I won't be losing much, so I might be splitting it up. So I know I just said final sell stop below 1048, but what is it, splitting hairs? Don't worry about it. So DGII, 1%. And then the only other long signal, BNCN, another 1% signal. This is a canceling quality stock, regional bank, mid-Atlantic bank stock, producing a pocket pivot point signal, all three long signals producing a PPP signal. Bop surge, volume surge, price move off the 50-day moving average confirmed in the price volume bop scan but once again because of this market it's only one percent of the account capital in this but bncn one percent dgii one percent and man h two percent still overall cash is the most prudent investment especially for new investors those that are undercapitalized and or those that pay high commissions